Hi, this video is somewhat of a follow-up to a couple of videos that I uploaded uh, last week where I talk about my experience with MMORPGs. I recommend that you watch those two videos because they may uh, do a better job at placing things into context that is understanding the content of this video where I'm going to talk a bit more about the toxicity but rather how you can detoxify an MMORPG community or potentially do it. Now this is just based on, on my experience in MMORPGs and in life in general. But I thought about this video because uh, Marco from Multiversal is topical and I'm going to put the link to his channel in the description below. I recommend that you check out his channel. He has a lot of content related to uh, tabletop role-playing games and he has English subtitles so it's a really good channel I recommend it. He uh, made a very interesting comment in my video about toxicity in MMORPG communities. He said that it was nice and possible to... Uh, he said fight against the toxicity in a toxic community, but it took a bit of social energy, uh, of effort, I guess you could say, and I think this is true. It's not easy to stay positive or enthusiastic in a community where, where there is a lot of toxicity or there are a lot of people that simply do not want to uh, get along with others. So it really got me thinking as to how you could uh, clear toxicity of an MMORPG community. But at the same time, I don't think that a community is going to, com to be completely cleared of toxicity after all, it's somewhat normal. As long as you are alive, there will be um, some issues uh, that is uh, it's not easy to, to just work in harmony all the time with others but there is something that you can do for the community although I do believe that perhaps some communities are beyond um, restoration or detoxification I guess you could say so I'm going to share my personal views and attitude when it comes to how I have dealt with um, different communities that I uh, think I made a somewhat positive contribution uh, to them. And I'm going to start with a positive example that I think mirrors or I guess supports what I commented in my uh, last video of the toxicity in MMORPG communities because I mentioned the possibility or I guess you could say a sort of like a theory or a hypothesis that maybe uh, if you had um, a stronger sense of community that you were not disconnected from the other players, you uh, became a bit nicer or you, at, at the very least, were on friendly or decent terms with the other players. Because right now I mentioned that I have been playing the uh, Record of Lola's War online MMORPG. I'm also going to put the link in the description below. And the community there has been awesome. Everybody is so helpful. You, you run across the different maps and total strangers are uh, offering help at times. Uh, sometimes you will see, I think it was the monk character class, that uh, she uses these blessings or songs of war or something on you and you get bonuses to your attack and etc. And they do not even know you, they just run by and they put that blessing on you and they keep their going their own way. This is also ha has been seen in other MMORPGs. This is not exclusive to Lola's War, but it's been some time that I've seen it uh, done with so much frequency and if you ask questions in uh, different cities or even in, in the hunting fields, they you are going to find people that will answer your questions and uh, you fall into that, let's say, harmonious flow and you also help others when they ask for your help. So the, the community has been awesome and I think it has to do with two things that um, linked to my other video. The first one that uh, the translation is quite horrible <laughs> in Record of Lola's War because it has been translated from uh, Korean to English. But the descriptions of the powers and the quests are just terrible. So. Everybody has to somewhat figure out things at times. Uh, you're trying to customize and build your character, you're giving him different skills and such, but you're, you're not entirely sure if they are going to be useful in the future. And so you're constantly talking with other players to see their experiences with different uh, powers and abilities. 
and the, because uh, there isn't like a readily available guide online you also talk about the different maps the good places where you can find uh, good loot or uh, you're going to get good experience with the least amount of risk possible and so it's that lack of this uh, of information or sense of discovery that i mentioned when i first played final fantasy 11 when if when it first came out i think that strengthens the bond it truly really empowers the bond of the community the other thing is that um, because the community is somewhat small you also do not know when you're going to need the help of someone else so at the very least you're always trying to act friendly and decent towards others because maybe you will need them for a particular uh, dungeon or if you're going to participate in a raid you will have to work together so you never know when you're going to team up with someone with a stranger so I really like the way the community is growing there, I hope it stays that way. I also immediately got, got into a guild, and the guild has been awesome so far. So yes, uh, um, taking that as a positive example of an MMORPG community, I'm going to talk about the, the thing that Marco mentioned, because that is really important, that is that if when you're in a toxic community, it takes a effort or energy to to stay positive or enthusiastic so i'm going to talk about what works for me i don't want you to think that it works for everyone maybe it will work for you too or maybe if you consider my let's say my attitude or method not the the most efficient at dealing with that maybe you will come up with your own method or maybe you already have your own uh, way of handling things and you um and my experiences co confirms your own attitude or way of doing things and I think we should start this by analyzing exactly the toxicity of a toxic player a toxic player simply cannot uh, or does not want to stop himself or herself from being toxic from attacking others it's like if we were to consider a uh, person as a sort of like a, a vessel or a cup and I'm going to get somewhat philosophical with this video I'm a martial artist so I uh, tend to talk about things like that so we were considered to be like vessels um, the toxic player is filled with a, a bad substance let's say uh, toxicity it's he's so full of it and I know that this sounds somewhat funny but he's so full of it that it it's constantly pouring out of him or her so all of those constant attacks and insults they are the result of that toxicity overflowing you can recognize a toxic pl uh, person because that person is always attacking and being negative and not offering any solutions and and things and I keep comparing it uh, for example with um, a good severe martial arts instructor and uh, and one that is just severe but doesn't have that let's say merciful aspect a terrible martial arts instructor is going to tell you that you are doing everything wrong that your uh, strikes are not adequate uh, your position etc but he's, he never does a great job at communicating what you are doing wrong and this happens all the time in MMORPG uh, in the most toxic examples of MMORPG communities that there are players that are constantly attacking or criticizing others but they never exactly explain uh, how they can remedy that situation or maybe or they do not address or talk to that person in a yeah in a, in a efficient or positive way that will bring out good results in, in contrast like for example a good martial arts instructor he's going to be really severe like in you're going to be telling your students that uh, they're doing things uh, wrong because they need to um, time their breathing with the movement of their hip and, and the way they strike with their arms and they're going to point out many different uh, technical inconsistencies when it comes to the, the technique overall so it's uh, common that you see a martial arts instructor telling you like oh no that, that strike was terrible you should do this instead or no, you're not going to be efficient like that, it doesn't make any sense the way that you are doing things because you're going to be attacked from this angle and such. 
so it's the same thing with uh, an MMORPG community. You can tell when a player is toxic because he is constantly like, just attacking and not offering any solutions and perhaps uh, attacking just for the sake of it, not pointing out mistakes or they just they are just so filled with hate and anger that they really need to take take it out on someone and this is also somewhat related with my other video of the toxicity that I mentioned that many of those players uh, wanted to play the MMORPG as a solo experience and there's nothing wrong with that but it's wrong that for example maybe one of those players is a bit of like a sociopath so or antisocial and he goes through the different quests or levels solo and then he hits that part of the game where he needs actually to, to team up with other players with a, a, an entire party or even a raid group so he wants to get that piece of armor or that weapon but he's only focused or interested in that he considers the group as a tool to get what he wants so that's why he will never be in harmony with other groups with other people because he looks at people as sort of like a tool to get to a particular uh, end and if that's uh, well in my opinion that's so wrong in MMORPGs uh, I consider MMORPGs that the social experience is the goal and everything else is secondary even if you were completely like a solo player you could still be doing your own thing and enjoying everyone every now and then uh, chatting with people or perhaps uh, selling your things to other players or buying things from them it's um, a sense of harmony but the toxic player simply cannot uh, do this he's too filled with all of that uh, poison so I guess you could say that the toxic player is full of such uh, negativity and then on the other side maybe let's say that we have the toxic player over here and in the middle I think there is that player that feels a bit empty that I was that I mentioned in my other video that those players that feel a bit like almost like robots or artificial intelligences and they are not uh, bots they are playing but they make no comments they do not laugh at jokes they do not make jokes or they do not they do not share anything verbally so they are just there and I do not consider them toxic because they are not attacking everyone else so they are just like doing their thing and maybe they will just share a couple of words every now and then but they still feel a bit like empty but I would still consider them not to be toxic and then let's talk about the positive or enthusiastic or optimistic MMORPG player over here and this is vital when it comes to understanding social energy as uh, Marco said or the effort that you put in into being nice to others and this is also related to real life now I'm going to well if you're a positive person and you keep um, let's say opening up to others and sharing some things and laughing and have, trying to have a good time in MMORPGs or in any, any other situation there is that uh, risk and I think a lot of people fear that that uh, you will not get positivity in return or back that is if you are acting decent or nice towards others maybe the others won't react or maybe they will be even like uh, like douchebags towards you so and I think a lot of people uh, may stop being nice because of that because they fear that sense of of getting um, attacked somehow or that their effort is not going to be rewarded somehow that there should be some sort of of harmony of some, sort of like sending uh, positivity and getting positivity in return but the key to understanding that and I think um, seeing it from a yin and yang perspective understanding the toxicity also allows you to understand the, the positivity so what's the main thing about a, a toxic player? He's so full of toxicity that he, it's constantly pouring out or spewing out of him or her. So the positive player must be, um, let's say, the counterpart or the, or the opposite. He should be so, or he, she, uh, filled with positivity that it just pours out naturally. And I think that throughout the years I have developed that to a degree it's not perfect but I think I've done 
a pretty good job when I compared myself when I was really young and nowadays. And um, it may sound, sound a bit harsh, but the key to that in my experience has been to look at toxic players with contempt and disgust. So many people in different MRP communities sometimes still get into groups or party with uh, those toxic players because they do not have an example of something better. They think that that is the norm or the regular thing in that community and it shouldn't be that way. But when somebody starts to present the alternative, then they start to move towards that uh, person that is actually a nice person or a decent guy or whatever. So it's important to present that alternative. So if uh, the community starts to feel, let's say, contempt or disgust or rejection towards those that are toxic, they usually use uh, elites as a sort of like example for that. Um, they will uh, either stop doing that or engaging in that uh, toxic behavior. They will try to work on their own uh, pers personal issues in, in the best case scenario. In other cases, they're just going to end up uh, still quite toxic towards others, but people will not tolerate their toxicity. So in that way, you start to promote a positive community because the more that you feel rejection or disgust or contempt towards the toxic player, you will feel more rejection and contempt uh, towards um, being toxic yourself. So it's almost a natural or a sort of rejection. As you become positive and enthusiastic, it's sort of like a rejection of that uh, potential toxicity that you could have within you so and this doesn't mean that you uh, have to mm, constantly get in, in fights or something with the toxic players I think this those are uh, exceptions or the minority of cases most of the time as I was saying it's possible to just stop playing with them or ignoring them because they are not worth your time if for whatever reason in in the game or in life uh, there is something that you must do well you will have to be a bit aggressive of course but I think that's in uh, mm, exceptional cases most of the time you just need to focus on being positive yourself it's the art of war of uh, turning yourself invincible rather than just focusing on on how to hinder your enemy or your opponent so that way I think this is uh, a way that you generate positivity all the time and at times you also become more aware, or I guess you could say appropriately, um, what would you say, kind or merciful, when uh, there could be some misunderstandings. And at the same time, as I was telling you, you can also become severe when you find those toxic examples and you reject that toxicity. So, for example, maybe it's like in real life, uh, maybe you are walking down the street and you see some person, that person drops something and you pick it up, oh, you dropped this and that person just take it, takes it and doesn't give you thank you or anything and keeps walking on, on their way. And so a uh, person who um, is still not too positive could be thinking, and this is just my opinion, as I was saying, it uh, could be thinking, oh, what a mm, uh, bad person or whatever. Or you could be thinking, oh, that person has such a such sadness in his or her life that is no longer even able to able to uh, thank others or to act with courtesy. So that's uh, uh, really sad. So you can uh, take any attitude that, that works for you. I think it takes some sort of instinct or, or intuition to get to know other people. But that's another way of not letting it get to you, that you still keep uh, going with your own thing, you still uh, keep uh, being nice to others, acting decently, and back to the MMORPG side of things, uh, you start to make groups with people, and uh, you joke, you laugh, uh, you exchange information, you help others, and you receive help in return, and when that doesn't happen, when you actually help others and they do not help you, uh, you reject that toxicity like or maybe maybe the person is actually really busy and you could think, be thinking whoa I hope uh, that person 
um, has an easier time uh, with that thing that is keeping that person too busy and is not able to participate in this activity. Or maybe you actually notice that this is a constant behavior of the person that that person is actually toxic and you look at that person like with disgust and contempt and that is, is it's just like it's almost as if the positive energy and the negative energy are two sides of the same coin but uh, you are somewhat mastering or controlling the polarities of that enthusiasm i guess that on the other side of things it could turn to toxicity if you do not um, understand it so those would be that would be my advice on how to be a bit more positive in MRP communities and as I was telling you if I were, were to look myself at myself like 15 years ago um, it would be quite uh, inconceivable for me that is if my younger self would look into the future and look at how I am today um, I would be thinking oh how does he do it that's so tiresome all, all the time being nice and all of that it's very difficult how did he manage that and it's because of that because now with the understanding of toxicity understanding that perhaps some people are uh, suffering too much and some others are just taking it out on someone else you either express your contempt or uh, I guess sometimes it, it's there's no other way to put it sometimes you feel pity for those people that are simply do not smile and laugh and and do all of that or try to get along in MRP communities and that way your positivity is constantly flowing it's kind of like two songs two anime songs come to mind uh, when I talk about this on the toxic side of things it reminds me of that opening from Dead Man Wonderland uh, that part of the song where, uh, where it says I just wanna make you bleed like me that's the toxic player like it's, he's bleeding or she's bleeding and wants to make others bleed, wants to get others into that suffering. But on the other side, on the positive side, it reminds me of that. It was Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D. I think it was the third opening. And because it's in Japanese, I believe the translation says something that the more you get hurt, the, the more kind that you become, or the more gentle. And this sounds a bit like a contradiction, right? Because in life, when you take more hits, either emotionally or physically, you're supposed to toughen up. But it's exactly because you have toughened up that you can be nice and kind and all of that, and you won't be affected if that kindness is not, mm, let's say, reciprocated or, or repaid, or what would you say, answered. So those are my thoughts on how you could potentially heal uh, a toxic MMORPG community. I know that there will be some cases that it doesn't apply, but I think in most cases, it's a, a way to start. Well, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. See you later.